Now what I want to show you are some of the complementary chemicals that go with XO2. These are used to either help manipulate the pot life, uh, to clean the surface before you apply XO2, to give you some adhesion promoter for all surfaces, or direct to metal for bare metal. So what we'll start with, accelerator. This is a very common item used in cool weather applications. XO2 has a very set pot life, and as it cools, it tends to want to lay flat. So for folks that are trying to get texture in cool weather temperatures, what you do is mix an equal amount that you would with your tent to your XO2 batch. It'll shorten the initial cure time. Now the overall cure is still going to be 72 hours, but that initial tack time is going to go from 2 hours to 45 minutes. The next product we want to show you, Prime Bond Cleaner. This is just a great general purpose automotive pre-paint cleaner. What we like about this, it's fast evaporating. It does not leave behind any residues that could cause adhesion problems. Basically, after you've scuffed the bed, you're cleaning out the dust from the clear coat, spray it down, wipe it out prior to putting on the 8001 adhesion promoter. Now, what this does, this is our fail safe. Basically, we're gonna show you how to scuff the bed to give you a nice mechanical bond. This is our second step to give you a chemical bond. So after you've scuffed, cleaned with prime bond, you take a simple trigger nozzle, mist on the 8001 adhesion promoter, and that's gonna guarantee a great mechanical and chemical bond for a lifelong bond to the substrate. The last thing we want to show you is the DTM primer. This is our direct to metal etching primer. And how this works is you apply this to a bare steel surface. It's only designed for hardened steels, but it cuts out the mechanical abrading process. It's a one to one mixture. Apply a base coat of the DTM, allow this to flash for 40 minutes, apply a light mist coat of your 8001, and then you're ready for your XO2 formulation.